if you're someone who is looking for a free VPS or RDP hosting with no card requirements and free lifetime usage, then this is the right video for you. So when you open your browser and search for RDP hosting, I'm going to be leaving the link in the description and you get it for free with no credit card. Tap on get free RDPS server and under the server type, you find different types of accounts. You get a solo account which you get full access and 32 gigabyte RAM, 24 CPU core, 500 gigabyte SSD drive, 500 megabyte internet time and 95.99 uptime. You also see the expert which you have shared RDP access, take 24 hours activation, 32 GB of RAM, 24 CPU core, 256 GB SSD, 1 GB internet speed, and Windows Server 2022. So you can choose any of these, they are totally free in this section. Tap on get started on any option you want. And then tap on get started now. Choose your plan, since I'm choosing a solo plan, tap on sign up now. And under categories, you want to choose your plan now you now see the option here with the plan and it's free tap on order now scroll down and enter a host name i'm going to enter a host name and then scroll down and tap on continue on the next page you need to check these two boxes and then tap on checkout Here you need to enter your billing information. I'm going to go ahead to fill this information. After filling your billing information, you need to enter a password for your account. You can tap on generate password in this section and then copy the password and save it. Once you're done, scroll down and tap on I am not a robot and solve the problem given. Tap on complete order and a verification email will be sent to your email. So you need to check your mail and tap on verify your email address. And your email address will be verified. You can tap on the RDP hosting at the top to take you to your dashboard. Once on the dashboard, you should now see something similar to what you're seeing on my screen. Under services, you want to tap on services and you see any service that you are currently purchasing, which for example, solo plan B, which is free, is pending. So you need to wait for this to change to approve before you'll be able to complete your setup process. Now, once your RDP connection has been successfully activated, you'll see the details of your RDP. So if you're using an expert plan, you'll see it on your dashboard. And if you're using a solo plan, you also see it on your dashboard. I'm first going to show you how to log in into RDP hosting on your phone. And I'm going to be doing that with the expert plan. And I'll be showing you how to do this with your Windows PC. So for the expert plan, you get Windows and you're able to rent this for a time frame. And I'm going to show you how you can log in. So what you want to do is on your device, you want to go to your app store and then in the search section of your app store. So if you're using an iOS device or an Android device, you'll still be able to access this. You want to search for parallel clients. Install the parallel clients. I already do have it installed. So I'm going to tap on open. Once opened, you want to tap on the plus sign at the top right corner of your screen here. Tap on this to add a new connection and you want to tap on create RDP connection instead. So here you see a friendly name, give it any name you like. The next is to enter your server address. To get your server address, simply go back and then in the expert IP address section here, you want to copy this IP address. Now paste this in parallel client server address. The username is expert, so simply copy expert and paste it in this section. And lastly, the password. So the password changes every day. You need to come here to get a password for the day. Copy the password and then paste the password in the password section. Here you want to leave every other thing as the default setting and then tap on connect. Tap on accept to accept the connection. And then choose how long you want to rent the PC. Once done, you'll be logged in into the Windows RDP. You can do other things such as choose if you want to use mouse mode, pointer, and minimum. So that's how you can log in into your RDP hosting on your phone.
Now, in case what you want to do on your Windows PC, you want to come to the search section here and search for remote desktop connection. You see the first option here, click on this, and this will launch the remote desktop. In this section here, you want to enter the computer IP address. So this is the IP address for the solo plan. Paste it in this section and then click on the drop down. The username for the plan will be found in your email. So simply go to the email that was sent to you after the activation and you'll see the username in this section. Copy the username which has been sent and then paste it in this section. Click on connect and then click on yes. The next step is to enter the RDP password. So to get your password, you want to go to your client area. Here you'll find the password. You can go ahead and copy the password and then paste the password in this section. And if that doesn't work, all you need to do is to type in the password manually. Once you've entered the password, click on OK. And this will log you to your RDP account. Now for the solo account, you get a Linux. Why for the expert, you get a Windows. Now if you're looking for a free Windows VPS, you can watch my video on how to get a free VPS with the Amazon Web Service. I'm going to leave the link in the description. So thank you for watching this video and I hope you found this video helpful. If you do, feel free to leave a like, subscribe and have the post notification turned on. So let me know in the comment section what kind of video you'd like to watch next.